So today we're doing a flywheel replacement on this H1. It's a 998. Uh, this was a military Humvee. So we're doing the flywheel here. Uh, for this one, the last three or the last four was 3771. So it's just a, you got the six bolts for the torque converter. And it lines up here. There's only two flywheels you can get for the H1. Um, and this is the only one I could find on eBay. So this is what we're doing on this. All right, so under the truck, the first thing, well, there's a lot of things to do under here. The first thing you're gonna do after disconnecting the batteries is the starter. And this is just an overview. I'm gonna go through everything on its own. So the starter will be removed. This Y pipe will be removed. Um, that cross member will be removed. The drive shafts will be removed. Uh, and then all the linkages on this side will be removed before you unbolt it from the engine and slide it back. So the first thing we'll start is the starter here, which you have these two main bolts here. You have one in the rear, and then obviously the um, the 24 volt and the negative leads there with a few other small ones up here before that drops down. Um, and then when that's down, I'll probably move to this flywheel shroud here and then removing the light pipe from here, the passenger side and the driver's side. All right, so there's the leads off for the starter. So there's the, those leads I went over before. There's a small quarter inch bolt here and over here holding the harness, a 14 mil bolt up here. And then these two uh, 15 mil bolts are gonna come down and the whole starter is gonna drop down. You gotta kind of turn it out of the way, it is heavy and that'll come down. After that, I'll remove these. Uh, I believe they're 5 8 bolts. Um, there's two over here I already removed to reveal the flywheel. And actually, I wanted to go over this. The reason we're doing the flywheel here is because as you can see, or maybe not, um, these teeth are all grinded down. It is hard to tell with the glare, but they're really grinded down. This thing would crank for almost the full revolution, and then the starter gear uh, would come out and it would slip on a few of these teeth that are really bad. And then it would just slip and grind and spark and the engine wouldn't turn over. Um, and it does that almost every revolution. So that's why we're doing it. Um, so then these will come off and then we're working on the exhaust. This, this is up, up top here. I know it is hard to see kind of uh, with the light, but this is with the doghouse cover removed. Very simple. Um, you got like latches here and then some here too here. Very easy to remove. Um, and then we have uh, up here, we need to be doing this top exhaust bolt the other two you can get from the bottom easily with the starter removed um, so the exhaust nut and bolt uh, right here on top this uh, bolt will have to be removed for the transmission dipstick so that way the it will allow the transmission to be uh, backed up and dropped so this bolt will have to be removed it's a 5 8 or a, probably close to a 15 mil and then I suggest while you're up here doing all these top transmission bolts um, and these should all be a 15 um, so you got you know this one this one, and if you keep going around, um, this one, that one, uh, we can remove this cable um, from the, this disconnect to the, uh, this cable comes from the transfer case. So let's leave that for now. It might be easiest to disconnect up here, but there might be something down there we can disconnect. So we'll come back to that. Right, so with all that stuff removed up top. Uh, surprise so you give that a good tug and then sorry about that so then that whole thing will just come right down like that uh, make sure the donuts are still on here um, the shroud was unbolted so the only thing holding that up was the Y pipe so that came down so now we have this so everything's pretty opened up now so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the um, U-joints from the output shafts of the transfer case so we can start worrying about where this thing's going to go. So I'm going to work it in this area now, uh, removing that and then removing this. Alright, so for these uh, U-joints, um, you remove these on the back here where they were 13 mil, on the front they were like 8, so they are different. Um, these caps just come out 
Um, so then what you can do is just get a, get a pry bar in there. Um, and you just want to work to separate it. So that's not the ideal way it would come out, but for some reason, this one is sticking a little. All right, so that's not a big deal. So we'll just turn that, I'll figure that out. Not sure why that's stuck, that shouldn't be stuck. But anyway, so uh, that's what's coming out. Um, I do recommend putting tape over these U-joint caps so they, they don't fall off, there are needle bearings in here. Um, but that can just stay hanging down like that, the rear drive shaft. So the front will be the same, like I said, with a couple eight mil bolts, stick a fiber in here, and then that can just hang out of the way too. Um, we did remove this cross member that went from um, each frame rail and supported the transmission in the middle. I do have this built jack um, assisting with the weight. Since we are removing the transmission, um, it will need something there. So we're going to continue with the drive shafts. Um, I will get the transmission linkage here. There's two cooling lines on this side, so you're going to remove those and then keep going with any sensors and any cooling lines that you see. Alright, so right. next will be after the U joints will be these uh, torque converter bolts. You can see I got the linkage off for the uh, gear select, so that came off. I will do the transmission, the transfer case select as well. But here, so all we're going to do is this is a uh, fifth, uh, 14 mil. There's six of these torque converter bolts, and you can just come in here. There's a few places you can get them, and I know it's hard to see now, but oh, it is actually a 15 mil. So anyway, you come in here, you're going to get all these, and then to spin it. You can get a socket on the front uh, crank, or you can do like me. You can get a pry bar up here. This flat, I mean, you can be careful. This flywheel is bad anyway, so I'm not too concerned. And you just come in here, and there are actually better ways to do it. And you can just pry it until it moves. It's usually not hard to push. Um, I might actually just go with the crank method. And then remove it, spin the crank, remove the next one, you get six of them. So we'll do that, remove the two remaining, Trans, um, transmission to engine bolts, and then double check for any miscellaneous this stuff. This is with the transmission jack in place. I know there's kind of a lot going on. So basically the only thing I have left to do now, as you can see, the transmission is already separated. I have one bolt, this bolt on the other side. It's the only thing holding it in. And then this thing's free. Um, so we did disconnect this linkage. There was a sensor here. That sensor up top, this line that I said I was unsure which way was easiest. The easiest way to do it is it, it's this tail speed sensor here on top of the tail end of the transfer case. That's just a nut you went through that. These two lines uh, you don't have to touch because these two lines are the cooling lines and the easiest way to do it with the cooling lines is just to, like I said before, pull these two. All right, uh, so I guess right now we're just gonna go to remove it. And I'll show you. Show All right, you so now everything's free. Oh, and it, it's hard to see anything under here, but I'm gonna slowly lower it. Um, and as you're lowering it, you need to go slow just to double check for anything that might be um, holding it up. Because there's plenty of stuff to hold it up back here. Uh, like here we have, looks like the exhaust holding it up. Yeah, so it's just, you gotta try to be fragile, but also this shit's heavy, so you gotta do what you gotta do to get shit out of the way. Um, it is heavy on the tail end, obviously, because of the transfer case, so just remember that. And then I'm gonna need, looks like I need some help here to get this out completely, but we'll show you when it's All out. Right, so this is the transmission out. Um, it is very heavy on the tail end here obviously when you have the transmission jack here a better idea would have been to put the chain on the front and it would have been just fine so it was tipping quite a bit that's why we're having trouble if i had done that would have come down nice and level and we would have been good um don't forget to disconnect what i did um it, it's something i saw when i was bringing it down slowly i forgot to pull the servo it's just a 14 or 15 mil bolt pulls the servo out and you can just let it hang um and that was what I was talking about when I was originally talking about removing that tail end, that, that speed sensor on the end of the transfer case. 
I got those two things mixed up. So you do have to pull that servo and that's what mounts up top there um, on the top of the engine above the flywheel. But so this is the flywheel. Um, if I get back a little bit, you see we do kind of have quite a bit of stuff hanging. Um, if you don't like this, you can remove the whole, the whole muffler. You can get that whole thing out of your way. Uh, I'm just going to tie it up to keep it aside. Same with the front drive shaft. Um, but everything else, you know, it's, it's fairly neat. Um, and yeah, so the flywheel now will, will take our 16 mil. Oh man, the impact, we'll get these bolts off and we can put the new one on. But there it is. So it's fairly straightforward, a lot of tedious stuff. Um, but that is how you remove the transmission on a Humvee on an H1 with the transfer case. So this is a flywheel. Good, good, bad, bad, good. Okay. All right, so that's the new flywheel in. Uh, the teeth are in great shape. Now that's an eight, those uh, six bolts are 18 mil. Uh, Torque them to 84 pounds. And that's it. So that's the transmission removal. Um, the installation is the reverse on an H1. Uh, pretty straightforward.